Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel and on today's Yorkie video we're going to answer one of the most highly requested questions that I've gotten in my um, Yorkie questions video. So if you haven't already placed your question down for me to answer, you're more than welcome to refer back to my video and um, put it in the comment box below. So on today's topic, we're going to talk about barking, alright? I have a friend here, Erica Nunes, one of my viewers that put this comment down. I just got my puppy two weeks ago and at first he was very timid and shy, but now he got very used to his home, his new home, and started to bark at us when we're all when we are playing or when we, he wants attention. How do I train him not to bark? I live in an apartment building and do not want my neighbors to complain about my puppy. Okay, so brand new puppy um it's pretty much natural for a new puppy to bark it's gonna take a few months for your doggy to break into its new home and its new environment now again we're very big on consistency and training so every time there is a behavior that you you as an owner doesn't like um you're going to use your tone of voice and the command no so if your dog is barking, all you're going to do is say no and place your dog in an area that is um, is enclosed so that way they're pretty much shut away and then you take them out after that one to two minute break off period. So that's pretty much one of the tactics I use for barking. Evie will bark at the door if there is an intruder or someone out front. But what I'll do is if it becomes too excessive, I'll pick her up and put her away from the door or I'll pick her up and place her in the crate for a little bit so that way she knows not to be overly excessive in the barking. Because Yorkies can be like that if you don't nip it in the bud immediately. So make sure that um, you practice those tactics. And it has to be... Uh, everyone's on the same page at home in the household because if everyone's not on the same page in the house like your dog is gonna be so confused it's like does do they want me to do it or do they not want me to do it it's pretty much a behavior that you're trying to elim eliminate if it becomes out of hand because small dogs they love to bark they do. Evie does too. Even as a form of communication. If he plays around, if she sees balloons, she'll start barking at it. You know, vacuum, barking at it. Um, I had to desensitize her from those loud noises because um, when she would bark at the vacuum, I would take her and put her in her crate every time she barked at the vacuum. So you have to be very, very consistent with that. So if someone's knocking at the door and she gets crazy, you take her and put her away, put her somewhere where she's not exposed to that environment. Now, another thing that you would have to do is, is that if she's quiet, immediately reward her. So that way she knows that her silence is appreciated in that environment. So make sure you have your treats around in the event that you want to train her to be around when other people come in. So this is just something that you have to work on. You have to put a little effort so that way once their mindset is in the good and the green, she can be out and about. If someone knocks at the door, she'll bark a little bit, but then she'll know her place. Because what I do with Evie sometimes is when she barks at somebody, I'll say bed. She knows where she goes. I'll say bed. And she goes in her bed. And then I'll give her a reward for staying in her bed and being quiet. And then my guests come in. So you just have to find like a pattern that you can do every time and just try to be around as much as you can because it'll be very helpful for your Yorkie. And the secondary question that piggybacks off of the barking is um, Val F says, Happy New Year. My baby's five months old tomorrow. He doesn't listen to the command no. Any tips? Um, so pretty much with the command training, and differentiating good behavior from bad behavior, saying yes and saying no, you have to practice tone and voice. It's something that I love to reiterate to anyone that um, is having complications with 
dogs not understanding yes good and 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 no and you're being bad so just tone and voice is key if you are upset just say no you know say no in a deep voice so they can understand like that's bad because what i'll do with evie i'm so animated as it is already i'll say evie what did you do and she'll be like oh my god she'll turn into a little shrimp like i'm so sorry forgive me because she knows that i caught her into doing something so you kind of got to be a cartoon character and be a little animated now when she's so good she loves those like reward commands it's like yes good girl good girl you know they love that good girl it hits their eardrum in a different way it's like all right okay i'm just a good girl but when you say no point your finger and i'm big with hand gestures too i say no i have the hand up and i look at her and i say no body posture is everything as well they know like dogs are smart they know when you trying to when when they when you playing they know when you're playing but if they know that you for real and you firm they'll they'll be like all right i'm sorry they'll become submissive so make sure that when you um you know reward your dog say yes high pitch voice good girl good boy they love it and if they're being bad you say no what did you do you know <laughs> It sounds funny, but it works. And my husband always laughs at me because it's like, you got to be a little animated because dogs are very smart. They pick up on certain things, but then they're kind of, you know, you have some dogs that are a little, a little bit of a slow learner. So you got to A, B, C, D some things. Okay. And that's tone and voice is one of those things. Okay. So I honestly hope this video was very helpful. I answered two questions today. Make sure you guys put more questions in that video comment box so I can have more answers for you guys. Okay. Don't forget to like comment and subscribe if you're new to my channel i make videos about the peloton which i'm gonna have one coming up and i make videos about how i train my yorkie evie here who is almost two years old um she'll be two in june so don't forget to subscribe and i appreciate you all for tuning in till next time bye